Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. You can find all my commentaries and Seymour's World episodes on the ThinkTech Hawaii website. I welcome your comments anytime by email, text, or phone. Our topic today is Thanksgiving, the power of gratitude. Shakespeare once said, O Lord that lends me life, lend me a heart replete with thankfulness. You know, every year millions of Americans come together for Thanksgiving. It's a holiday about giving thanks for the good things in life and celebrating family, friends, and connection. In short, it's about gratitude. Do you realize now that we have more than enough? It's okay to have dreams. It's okay to aspire to grow, to learn, to evolve, and to achieve big things. But it's also important to celebrate yourself to celebrate your accomplishments, to celebrate the present moment, and to celebrate your life. With gratitude comes happiness, and with happiness comes gratitude. Gratitude is one of the shortest paths to happiness. Be thankful for what you have. You'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. Without gratitude, life can be lonely, depressing and impoverished. Gratitude enriches your life. It elevates, energizes, inspires, and transforms us. People are moved, opened, and humbled through your expression of gratitude. Do we have regrets? Of course we do. But turn those regrets into life experiences to enhance everything around you. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house, to, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a wonderful vision for tomorrow. Thank God every day when you get up that you are here, that you have something to do that day which must be done, whether you like it or not. Working and doing your best will give you pride and self-control, diligence and strength of will, cheerfulness and content. So this Thanksgiving, be sure to express gratitude for all you have. Remember, what you appreciate, appreciates. When you express gratitude for something, you attract more of that something into your life. So go ahead and celebrate what you have. It is the sweet path to more continued happiness. John F. Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. We need to look and believe in the goodness the world has to offer. All the negativity in the press today is just a small microcosm and the antithesis of what all the goodness is in the world. Please pay very little attention to this sensationalism and live with your life with gratitude for all we have, not all we want. So now it's my turn to express and share my gratitude with you. First, I thank God that he has given me another year of good health fighting my cancer. I thank my family, Sue, Aaron, Alana, Ashley, and my beautiful granddaughter, Isabella, for making every day the best day of my life. And I thank you, for taking the time to watch Seymour's World. To all of you around the world who send me your comments, both positive and negative, I appreciate them all. It's impossible to recognize all of you, but just to mention a few, to Sheldon and Marie in Toronto, Kitty in Montreal, Ernst in Vienna, Austria, Hubert in Hong Kong, Doug in Bangkok, Ellen in Honolulu, Fanny in Calgary, Chris in London, England, Anne in Squamish, British Columbia, Judy in Nova Scotia, Spencer and Michelle in New York, Kelly in Dallas, Effie in Vancouver, Chuck in LA, uh, Jim in Honolulu, Yoshi in Tokyo, and so many more, impossible to name all. I thank you. I say merci, danke, arigato, for being part of my life and making it a life that I cherish every day. It is an honor to be your friend. Finally, to my tennis partner, Bill West, who is joining me in the fight of his life, battling cancer. Go, Bill, fight with everything you have. 
we are with you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Thank you for watching Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. Aloha.